when you are grading the nursery beds, you have to make sure that the nursery bed is in a, a basin shape. It has to be basin. Yes, my good farmers, thank you very much. I welcome you to this content. Uh, just like uh, I told you earlier on that we are going to be developing content from here. I want you to join me in this uh, farming. And you, you, you can be able to learn something for your benefit and teach me something. I'm not a professional agronomist, but uh, I am just somebody who is passionate to agriculture and for quite some time I have been doing it in silence. The knowledge, the exposure that I have got, I am able to advance my skills in production and uh, probably it has brought me up to where I am. I want to thank those who have been supporting me, especially Mr. Sos from Sos Pharma Center and uh, Stephen Ogol from the Christian Ambassadors of Uganda and Dr. Joseph Opul from Opul's Killing Foundation, Africa and uh, quality education consultancy. Those are partners that I have been dealing with and probably a collusion effort that we have brought together has actually delivered me to these heights in terms of agriculture. I am currently investing a lot in uh, onion production and uh, soya bean farming. In terms of soya, I am dealing with uh, Maxoy 6N and Maxoy 3N. They have a good oil content and do well in Teso here. Kwenye bodo ire ikijo in terms of onions, I am dealing with uh, onions, especially uh, the medium size uh, onion I have been producing in largely and currently where I am, I am standing in my nursery beds. I'm going to take you through um, what it takes to plant onions. This is where you need to pay keen attention. Most farmers have been having issues with the producing onions and um, the challenge here is about how do you propagate onions to make it germinate well from the nursery bed and then from the nursery bed how do you take care of it to the uh, transplanting stage. The small tips I am able to get is that um, with onions Almost 80% of the onion work for you to be able to produce good onions lie in the nursery bed. And in my nursery bed here, I will be able to take you through how best to put the onions into the nursery, the germination period, and the foliage when it grows to the uh, transplanting stage and then from there we shall keep transferring we shall keep uh, continuing what you need to do is just keep following these videos uh, subscribe to this youtube channel and keep following the subsequent videos that will come your way as we are able to give you more knowledge as uh, we also keep interacting with other experts that we shall be bringing on board to give us more about this but practically from the garden here um, I will be able to take you through the farming of onions. Here, onions uh, pay very well if one actually puts more efforts in it 
you invest the time and the resources. Of course, we know that Teso subregion, there are very few farmers who invest in onion, probably because of the weathers and uh, the adaptability, the challenges farmers get in actually bringing it up. But here, we make it easier. Just keep following our YouTube channel and you're able to get more of this uh, information. Onion takes about to six to eight days to germinate from the nursery bed, from the day uh, you actually uh, uh, broadcast the seeds. And then from there, uh, it will take from the nursery bed, it will take between um, uh, 45 to 60 days for you to be able to transplant. So a good person can give it two months, that is 60 days, for you to be able to transplant to the mother mother garden. So from here, we are going to take you through how you can be able to propagate the onions until the end. Join me in this journey and we shall be able to learn together. Now, when you are grading the nursery beds, you have to make sure that the nursery bed is in a, a basin shape. It has to be basin. For example, you can make it like this. That's why you see, we make it, we prepare it in a way that it has to look like this. It has to be raised a bit from this side and raised a bit from the other side, from the sideways, so that when you are doing the watering, the water will not flow outside. The water will always remain within the within the, the nursery bed for the seedlings to be able to consume. Otherwise, if you just make the nursery bed in whatever way, you will pour and then you will see the water flowing outside. The water will not stay. The water will flow outside. So this is very important and that's what we are doing now. Even when you are broadcasting, you will make sure that you don't distort the arrangement. Now, this is a bed we are actually putting our seeds. You have seen the other ones have germinated. Uh, the other ones, the other side have germinated. We are now putting another lot because we have decided to put them in two lots. The first lot, second lot, third lot, and the fourth lot. When you do the same, you will realize that it will not be very difficult. You will not face challenges while transplanting. The same way you will do the transplanting. You will transplant the first ones. After that, you will come to these ones. You transplant these ones also. Then you go and transplant the others also. If you broadcast and make the beds on the same day, it will require still transplanting at the same time, which will not be easier for you, especially when the labor is not adequate enough. So for me here, with my team, we are actually, we completed to do the first lot, which has germinated successfully. We are now working on the second lot. And then after that, we shall go and put the third lot, Yoganoi Ebo. So uh, that's what we are doing here. And the same with you, when you're doing the planting of uh, seeds for onions, make sure that you put them in two lots. The first lot, the second lot, and the third lot. The same day, on the first moment, we will transplant the first, the first lot, then you will transplant the second lot, and later on you will finalize with the third lot. The third lot will help you to replace the ones from the first lot which sprouted in the garden when you planted it for the first time, but also to cover up the gap in the in the motherland, in the main land which was not actually uh, completed. This nursery bed we are going to broadcast the seeds until the end. I want you to see how do we broadcast the seeds until they germinate. You have seen the other ones have germinated, the other ones have germinated. That bed has germinated very well. It is now eight days old from the day we planted it. And this one the same. We are preparing it. What we are doing here is to remove these stones. Especially when the sun is dry like this. You will not be able to crush all this. This kind of stones here. And that's why you see uh, my working team is making sure that we remove all these stones. Because when you broadcast the seeds, and then the stones come and press, for example, 
Let me demonstrate with you this. Uh, this one is a bed which has already germinated. Now, when the stones uh, press the seeds like this, the seeds, the same way that seed, those seeds where the stone has pressed, will not germinate. You can see like this one. When you open, you will find there are seeds, uh, seedlings here, which are trying to struggle to germinate because the stone is pressing. So, the nursery bed has to be very fine, very, very fine. And the same way, you will have the seed germination of 100 percent and that's what we are doing then after this we are going to mark the lines and then we do the broadcasting after that we shall cover with the grass mulches for like a period of uh, between six to eight days uh, for my case usually i take six to eight days because my seeds germinate i have fertilized the soils here and these are just normal soils like any other place even you you can be able to do this from your land the best you can do subscribe to this channel and you will be able to get most of the videos that I upload from the garden as I do my work. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.